back to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. If you are new to the channel, you're welcome. If you have not subscribed, I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And then if you want to register for my online classes, you can just see my number on the description box or on the comment section of this video. You can send me a message on WhatsApp. Okay, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a simple kimono. So that's what we are going to learn how to do today. It is a simple free dress. So you can see it, it is it has button. Mm -hmm. That's what we are going to do. So we're just going to call it how to cut and sew a kimono with buttons and then open sleeve. So that's what we are going to learn how to do today. You can follow me on all of my social media platforms: Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, all at Stylish Niger. Okay, so please. I would appreciate if you hit on the like button of this video. Actually, it takes nothing for you to like the video now. Like the video. Thank you so much, guys. So let's just get started straight into our tutorial. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the fabric that I'm going to be making use of. And this fabric is actually four yards of fabric. And it is a chiffon fabric. So I'm going to be folding this fabric now. I folded it into two. And then I'm going to go out. Ahead, I'll just divide it into two exact parts so you can see. So, after dividing, I have it on two, two yards. So, I have two yards one I'm going to use for the front, and then the other one I'll use for the back. So, after doing that, I folded them again. That's the four, the two, two yards. I folded them. So, from this, I'll just pick one piece and then measure the wideness. So what I am going to measure now, I'm, I'm trying to bring out, since it has buttons, so I'm trying to shift one a little bit to come out. That's the one that I will use for the front because of the button. So I shifted it, let it have like a little bit of extra one inch or two inch allowance bigger than the back piece because of the buttons that we're going to add to the front. So that's why I just did that. So at the end of the day, when I fold, so after folding, so you can see what I have. So now I'm going to do the neckline. So from that center back, I'll mark three inches wideness. And then the two are placed together, both the back and the front. And then I came down by one inch. So that one inch, I'm just going to mark it around. You can see it. So this is the back and the front placed together. I'll mark it around. And then I'm going to cut both of them together. Both the back piece. And the front piece you can see the front that's the part that's the one that is longer than the back so I'll just cut this out and then I've cut out both of my back and front neckline okay so you can see how it is looking the next thing I'm going to do now we're going to mark create our sleeve our shoulder slope so I'll come to the edge of my shoulder slope I mark 1.5 inches and then I'm just going to float that into the neckline. Note, I'm the entire wideness of my booboo, that's from the center back, is actually 30 inches. That's what I want to use. But my fabric is folded. When I folded it, I have about 36 inches. You know, it's um, to two yards. So, but I just left that extra inches. I'll use it to fold it. So from that point, that shoulder slope, I'll just, I'm going to trim that part out now. So from that point, that's where we're going to create our sleeve opening. Okay, so to create the sleeve opening, you're just going to measure how tight you want your sleeve to be. That's what we'll use to know how much you are going to open at the edge. You understand? So if, for instance, if you don't want 30 inches, as if you don't want your sleeve to reach that long sleeve, but anywhere you want it to reach, you can just use measure that. So I add about 8 inches. So I marked 8 inches now on that part like that. So that 8 inches, what you are going to do, you divide it into 2. So you have about 4 inches. You just place it and then I'll mark it there like that, okay? It's not like you place the whole 8 inches, no. You divide it into 2 and then you would mark on that point. So from that point, that other part I'm marking, and that's the part I'm going to just stitch down. So after everything, I just trim that the shoulder slope like that. And then I'm just trying to balance everything up. And then that center front, now I open the front 
so that it can because of the button so after opening that the neckline i'm just going to show you what we're going to do you know the neckline i cut the back and the front together so now i want to turn my front neckline i want it to be a v neckline i don't want it to be a round neckline so that's why i took the back and the front pieces together and then from that edge where i measured i'm just going to measure how deep i want my v neckline to be so for this i use about seven inches so i'm just going to mark it down i don't want it to be too deep like that uh -huh. So I'll, after measuring, you just cut it out to the edge. So you have a V neckline now. So the next thing now, the neckline, I'm just going to fold this. You can actually use a bias. At the end of the day, I ended up using a bias to turn out the neckline. So after that, I'll take one piece. I'm going to show you because I want my booboo to have an opening. So I measure from the shoulder. I measure about 14 inches. So that's where I'm going to stitch and stop. Because it's, it has an opening on the sleeve. It's not like completely blocked, closed. So I mark that 14 inches there. So I'll stitch and then when I get to that point, I'll stop. So I'll show you that back now on our machine. Okay, so like I said, so the neckline, like I said, I used bias binding. So I just turned it out with a bias neatly. So and then I stitch that 14 inches that I said from the shoulder. I got to that 14 inches part, I stitched it. And then you can see that this part is open now for my booboo. -boo. But I still want to close the down part of this sleeve. I don't want it to be flying around. So I'll just turn it so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so from this point, that's where my sleeve opening is going to be. Notes that sleeve opening that we did. That's where you put your hand in here. So from this point now, I'm going to mark how wide i want my opening to be so from this edge now i'm going to come up i'll measure about three inches i'm going to stitch that side close also i'll stitch that side close so i'll stitch it close to that point like that and then my sleeve opening is going to be here up to that point and then from this point i'll just go ahead i will join that part so it's only that small part that will be open on my boob and then the shoulder area also okay so before i finish that it's easier for me to just fold my that part of my sleeve on the shoulder that will be open so i'll just um, tuck it down a little bit and then i'll secure it so it's easier for me to do it now before i close the edge part so i'll finish that and then i'll bring it back and show you so after doing that, you you see, so you can see the shoulder part, just like I explained. And then you can see that part that is open on the sleeve. So you see, I folded it down, like I said. And then you can see our small sleeve opening there. Mm -hmm. And then the edge, you just stitch it down to the end. So that's literally all of this booboo. -boo. At the end of the day, you can see how it is looking. I just placed it on the mannequin so you can see how it is looking. It looks good. It came out really fine. So you can see the sleeve opening there. That's the like the shakara that is in this boo boo. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> it came out fine. I liked it when I tried it on. It was really looking beautiful. And it is so full. So it will give you that flowing vibes. And then for the button, so I'll just add a simple two simple buttons on it, mm -hmm. just for fancy. So thank you so much. If you find this video hope helpful, please like the video. I added slit on the side. I just um, opened the side a little bit. So after sewing, I actually did not like it very blocked like that. So I had to open it. So thank you so much.